Yo, what up? It's Johnny Petrop, and you're rocking with DJ Zero. Who's up next? Johnny, thank you for having the time to come out here on the show. I appreciate it. I know it's been a long time coming, but we're here. Appreciate you guys having the time. Hell yeah. Uh, let everybody know where you're from and uh, how you got into hip hop. For sure. So uh, I'm from Astoria, Queens, uh, New York, 718. And, uh, you know, my upbringing in hip hop was um, just kind of natural. I, I can't really give you a, like a straight time okay. that I was just like, yo, I'm a rapper. You know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. But like, I just kind of gradually went into it. Um, I'm from a, um, a family of creatives. So it's kind of just in my nature and being Greek, that's in my blood. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. like a whole, um, you know, if you go back into Greek culture, we're, we're just innovators. Right. So, uh, I feel like this—that's the Greek in me. It's my—it's my heritage. It's—it's—it's it's, it's my father being a musician, my brother being a, a poet, rapper. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like all that within me. Right. That's—that's that's what made me come here. Who are your influences? Like who you, who you remember like back in the day when you started first getting into hip hop? Yeah. So uh, back in the day, uh, so during the summer, you remember like um, on MTV it was like a. It wasn't Summer Jam, what was it called? So it was, it was Spring Break? Yeah, like, not the Spring Break, it was um, MTV Jams. MTV uh, Jams. Yo, you MTV just, Raps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so okay. they would constantly just play music videos. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So that's really, it was around, like, 2003, okay. 2000. And uh, that's when the Dirty South was really coming up. You know what I mean? So uh, the Paul Walls, the Slim Thugs, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I was really fucking with them. Okay. Um, Nelly. And then it was... Um, you know, just the Queens cats. Okay. Um, so one of my homies, uh, Jason, he's actually my roommate now. Okay. Uh, shout out to Jason. <laughs> uh, he uh, burned me my first CD, and you know I had my Walkman. This is in sixth grade. Okay. And uh, it was just full of. He's like one of the biggest Nas fans in the world, so it was full of Nas and uh, Mob Deep. Okay. So that was my first introduction to really into the Queens hip hop scene. Okay. And. Uh, you know that that was mind blowing because okay. that was great music and it was it was it was a different um, lane than yeah. my upbringing, so I, I was able to to tap into different uh, cultures and different um, environments through what I was hearing. Right. You know what I mean. And then plus I was um I was going to school with uh, the battle rapper DNA and he was one of my good okay. friends. All right. So he um was just rapping, just just doing his. Crazy, like, yeah. <laughs> he was 12, just like going ham. That's right? what's up, that's it was what's ridiculous. Up. So, like, he was doing that, and I was like, Yo, I, I want to rap. You know right. what I'm saying? I was like, I want to rap too. That's when I started picking up the pen in like sixth grade. Okay, yeah. Uh, you, you said in 2003 that you know the, the down south hip hop scene was growing a lot. Mm. What attracted you to the down south people more than you know people from New York? Um, just the sound. Just the sound. That chopped and screwed sound. Okay. To this day, like I, I was in the studio with a couple of homies the other day and we made a like a trap tra like a trap chopped and screwed type sound, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't know, something about that heavy like on um, like the ASAP, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. ASAP now has built that into his own lane. Yeah. And uh it's just something about that always caught my ear and I just fucked with it heavy. You okay. know what I'm saying? So uh that's really what separated it for me was that just that just chopped and screwed nature of how they you know, and, and they all it was they all came up to together on a kind of like that same wave. Okay. So I don't know. I I, I can't really tell you why, but mm -hmm. I can tell you like what caught my ear and, and why I listened to it. Okay. You mentioned going to school with um, a young DNA. Yeah. Uh, how, how how was that, man? That was cool, man. You know, we got rowdy back then, man. It was in a, it was in Louis Armstrong, Louis okay. Armstrong Middle School, IS two two seven. Okay. Um, yeah, man. It's, it was cool, but he was a cool dude. You know okay. what I'm saying? I, I remember going to his, to his crib a couple times. Like he came to mine, and like we just were good friends. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Time goes on, we lost contact, and then, um, me and my roommate Jay, we actually had this, uh, this radio show called Swagger Talk. And then we got back in contact through that because okay. I had him as a guest, and then like, you know, just life. That's you know what I'm saying? Up. That was really cool, man. He was a beast back then. He's a beast now, and he's gonna continue to beast the rest of his life. So yeah, that's what's up, shout out to him. Yeah. Um, when do you start like writing your own raps? Like, you know, having a notebook and writing them down. Like, when does that transition start happening? Um. So it was late. Um. I started at 20. Okay. You know, 2019. Uh, really like diving into it just like trying to like twist words and like I don't read much but I actually like crept into the dictionary 
right. to like you know engage in a better vocabulary and be able to to you know get what I want to get across in a in a quicker and faster manner. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, and then I just hit up one of my dudes I knew was a DJ. I was like, Yo, where do you like do your DJ shit? Where mm -hmm. could I record out of? And I just took it from there. You know. Uh, but uh, take us through like your first song or uh, first uh, like sure. tape you're working on. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that felt good. That's my first tape. That, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, my first song was Young and Dumb. It was the first time I ever stepped into a, a, a studio. Like ever heard my voice on a microphone. Right. And uh, it's on YouTube. Check out the video. <laughs> you know, cheap plug. Okay. But <laughs> but um, yeah, man, it was the first time I ever, and it was. I felt like I've been there before. You know what I'm saying? My like what I've always told myself as a kid and what I do now is act like you've done it. You know what I'm saying? Like never think that you haven't done it because you put yourself in the mindset that you have done it, then who's stopping you from doing it? Right. Why would you be nervous to do it? You know what I'm saying? So I always put myself in, in that situation. Every time I do something new, I'm like, nah, I've done that before and I'm successful at it. I, I continue to tell myself that. So right when I'm in that, I'm able to, to handle myself. A lot, of, a lot of first takes? Did you uh, have to do a lot of takes the first time you was in there? For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, it was a, uh, but you know, the maturation process and I'm here now. Okay.